Hi, I'm Robert Reed. Welcome to the channel. Uh, you probably are coming here because you are looking for how to copy settings from one image to another, or maybe to a bunch of images. Uh, and maybe you're used to Lightroom where there's the big sync button that makes it really obvious how you sync settings from one image to a bunch of others. Capture One, there isn't a big button, but there are many buttons all over Capture One that allow you to copy and apply adjustments from an image to a bunch of other images. And there's a few different ways to do that. There's also a whole copy and apply adjustments clipboard, which is central to the whole idea. And that on its own has a few features, which may be a bit surprising. And also there's the other topic of copying layers, which you can also do now. And it's got more capabilities in Capture 120 than we used to have, but then there's also some issues you should be aware of before you do it, because it can definitely bite you if you're not paying attention. Anyway, let's get into Capture One and I'll show you what we're talking about when it comes to how to copy and apply adjustments. So let's get to it. It may be helpful to know in this in Capture One, uh, we're not syncing settings or copying settings, we are copying adjustments. And so when you look in the adjustments menu, you can see there are the copy and apply adjustment options. It's not in the edit menu where you might expect to find a copy and paste. Uh, it's actually in adjustments and it's called copy and apply. So that's the first thing, but you don't have to worry about that. Uh, there are buttons already on the toolbar that you can use to copy and apply. Uh, and we'll use that in a second. I also want to show you where the adjustments clipboard is. So on the tool uh, pane on the left, you can see there's one that looks like a clipboard. And at the bottom of that down here is the adjustments clipboard. Let's just drag it up to the top. And we can see right now there are no adjustments copied in there yet because we haven't copied anything. So let me click copy. And this filled up with uh, all of the things that I've s changed in this uh, in this photo. I made it black and white. I looks like I added some grain and did a bunch of exposure settings. Basically, I, I did a bunch of changes so that things would show up here in the adjustments clipboard. This isn't, you know, an image that I would have edited this way normally. But I want to point out one thing. I have cropped this image, but crop has not been selected here in the clipboard. That is because by default, none of the composition tools, the crop, rotation, keystone, and so on, will be added to the adjustments clipboard. Uh, next, uh, let's just select an image we want to apply it to. In fact, let's select, uh, say, three images, and I'm going to apply. It only went to the first one. Now, that's because next to the Copy and Apply buttons is the Edit Selected button. And the name of this one is a little bit confusing because what it actually means is when this button is selected and I'm going to click on it and it turns orange, then you're editing all the selected images. And when it's turned off, you're only modifying the primary selected image, which is what happened in this case. So we edited three images, I selected three images, but because edit selected wasn't enabled, we only modified the primary. So let me undo that, turn this on and apply. All of them were modified. So let's look at a different tool for copy and applying adjustments. One that has a slightly different workflow than the first one that we did. You can add this one to the toolbar by right clicking here, choose customize toolbar and look for this one. It's got two arrows or two arrow heads on the same arrow and it's one button. So we'll uh, drag it over, uh, click done. And now we have copy and apply here. So notice on this image, I've got one image select, there's four images selected. There's the primary, which is the one that I've edited. And if I do uh, copy and then apply, nothing happens because edit selected isn't turned on. Now, if I click this button, copy and apply, then the same thing happens. I get the same toolbar, to, um, tool settings, the list here of tools that I can disable or enable. And if I click apply, then now it did apply that to all of the images, even though edit selected wasn't enabled. So the workflow that this button is really intended to be for is when you have similar images, they're all selected, you're editing one, and then you just want to do a quick paste of those settings or adjustments to all the other images. So using this is a little bit faster because you can hold down the shift key, click the button, and it applies all the settings without any kind of pop-up and without worrying about whether or not edit selected is enabled or not. So this is a, can be a really quick way to do that. The other thing to know about this tool 
And I mentioned earlier that copy and paste is available throughout Light, uh, Capture One, <laughs> not Lightroom. And you'll see that this button is actually available in all of these tools. It's right there. And what this does is the same thing that the, its big cousin does over here. It just copies the adjustments that are in that tool. So if I click that, we'll see that only the exposure uh, tool adjustments are available to copy and so on. So that uh, means no matter where you're working in Capture One, if you want that change to be applied to your other images, you can do that just straight away by just clicking that or even just shift clicking that so that uh, they get applied immediately. So I want to go back to the adjustments clipboard and show you a couple more things. Remember when I said by default, the composition tools are not selected when you copy. You can change that here in the clipboards menu where the three dots are. Just click that and there's the auto select option is the top of the menu and you can choose between adjusted accept composition and adjusted. So we choose that and then go, I'm just going to go down here and make sure we adjust this crop and then hit return and copy. And when I copied now, we see the composition crop is there. However, when I'm cropping, I usually do that from the crop tool itself. So when you crop tool open, I can right click this and then there is the double ended arrow where you can do adjustments, a cop, copy directly from the tool itself. So that is usually how I do a copy of a crop. But if you're doing a lot of uh, crop copies with your regular adjustments, then you could turn it on right there. So another interesting feature here is you can copy styles to the clipboard. So instead of just pasting them into an image, you can first copy them to a clipboard and see what uh, which tools that style changes, and then maybe customize that list if you don't want to apply everything. For example, if I want, um, let's try applying that. Well, I kind of like the color grade, perhaps, but I don't really want any more exposure changes made to this image. It's already pretty contrasty. So I could just disable that and just apply the color. So that's uh, a nice, uh, that's something, honestly, I didn't even know about until I started digging into this tool for this video. And then just as you can copy from a style to the clipboard, you can also just save it as a style and it'll only save the settings that are checked off there and it goes straight to there. So this would be a nice way to, if you're creating your own style, you could use the clipboard to apply it to a few different images to test the style out, make sure you have it fine tuned. And then from here, just go and save it directly as, as a new style. Okay. Now let's talk about layers though. There was a, a really good change in Capture 120 that enabled us to now select which layers get copied from the source image into the destination. In previous versions of Capture One, whenever you copied layers, all of the layers would be copied and they would replace whatever layers were on the destination image. So let me just create a layer. And so now we've got this layer. We can copy it. So I'm going to use the double arrow here. Um, Actually, let me close that down. Let me go over to the adjustments uh, clipboard and show you when you click copy and, uh, and you've added layers, then layers uh, do show up here by default in the clipboard. And there's no way to disable that. So that's something to be aware of because what happens when you copy a layer? Now let's just go back to the layer and copy that. I'm going to shift click that and copy it because I want that layer. And so we've applied that. But actually, I really don't like this color grade. I want to tone it down a little bit. So let's uh, maybe just bring that back and okay, that looks a little bit better. Let me copy it back. Well, that didn't fix the problem because what has happened now is we have two layers on each image. So in, in Capture 120, when you copy, you can copy individual layers, but when you copy the layer again, it doesn't replace the original layer that you copied. It adds a new one and leaves the old one active. So this is definitely something to be aware of the old workflow of making changes, pasting the images, and then fine tuning on that master image and then pasting it again. That doesn't work anymore with layers. You have to uh, get that right up front. And then at that point, you need to tweak the individual images uh, rather than being able to paste uh, a layer. Or you make the fixes on a new layer to undo the changes that you made in the first layer and then reapply that as another layer. So that's how we copy and apply adjustments. There's some tricks in the adjustments clipboard we went over and also a little bit of a warning on copying layers. Be careful if you copy more than once. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Robert Reed.
Okay, since you're still here, I'll do one more thing. There is one more way you can copy and apply adjustments that's different than the other ways. Uh, that is using this tool right there. This is the apply adjustments and there's also a copy adjustments uh, cursor tool. So what this lets you do is, um, let's say that you've got settings here. Now notice edit selected is turned on and I've got a large selection, but I don't want to apply this setting to all of them. And I don't want to go through individually and just pick one and then click the apply button or remember the keyboard shortcut. All you need to do is use this arrow, make sure that you've selected this, you know, you've, you've got the adjustments in the clipboard that you want to apply and then just click on a couple of images that you want to apply those settings to. Because this tool ignores the edit selected option, it only applies the settings to the image you click on so you can individually pick out the ones you want to copy settings to using the cursor tool. So that is a, a little bonus and thanks for watching, I'm Robert Reed.